What's up, fellow well, DJ Kimura and Games here back again with a brand new video. And today, um, I'm actually going to be giving some expectations. So, uh, I'm only doing this because um, the Xbox One S, also known as the Xbox One Slim, has came out. I think it came out yesterday or the day, but I don't know. But I'm here to chat about PlayStation Neo or PlayStation 4.K or 4K 4.5, whatever the hell it is. I don't care. But basically. I'm chat. All right, I'm chat about this because I have four things I expect to see with the with the new with the new the new console. And that is actually it's, it's more of an upgrade. Next, it's only four things I expect to see. Number one is more touchpad use. This this is the touchpad. If you're new to PlayStation Four. I want to see more use out of this because I have only played like two or three games to actually use this, and it's it's really disappointing because it's a really nice feature. I actually like using it, so I want to see more of that. I ain't getting it, but to actually, if anything was to happen to my PlayStation, I would save up to buy a four point five or Neo, or whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, I really want to see more use out of the touchpad because, as I said, it is a unique feature to the PlayStation, and I think all the I think it's kind of necessary. It's necessary. It's necessary to have one. But okay, when we reach two minutes, I'll reach. All right. Wait, wait. Alright, so, number two is remasters also in 4K. Now, I'm not just talking about the obvious, obvious remaster I'm most excited for, which is bloody fat when return to work. I'm also on about um, the Uncharted remaster, the Call of Duty 4 remaster, Modern Warfare, Cod 4 Modern Warfare remaster, because they are remastering that game of Infinite Warfare. It's a new game. So, uh, what else? Yeah, I think I want to see them all in 4K. 4K, come on. The whole reason they're doing this is because they just wanna they just wanna copy each other. They just want they want 4K, and if if you're gonna have 4K, then you should at least be able to you should be able to at least run old games. Now I'm not saying you should remaster every single PS4 game. Like, Look, I have Ark of Night, but there's two examples, Ark of Night and MKX, you shouldn't need to remaster these two. Just keep them as they are, but make, make them playable on the others, but maybe, I don't know, because Ark of Night, these two, I picked these two for a reason, that's because these two, in my opinion, have the best graphics on this entire, from the game, these are the two games I've seen, other than Until Dawn. And Rise, which is an Xbox One exclusive. These two have the best graphics, in my opinion. I I love I love these graphics, for these games. This one, like they put so much effort into the, into the graphics, and this on 4K will literally, I, it might even look CGI, like CG. <laughs> It might even look as quality as the tra as the uh, announcement trailers for these two games. The, yeah, these two actually got announcement trailers. I, I think Injustice Two will be the same that comes out next year. Um, same thing for every game, really. Um, uh, next next year's call. Cool. I think this year. All right, if you, I don't think I talk. All right. If you didn't watch my E3 roundup video, which is my last E3 video of pretty much ever, because I ain't gonna do anymore. I did mention I did like Infinite Warfare, but if the PlayStation 4K comes out in November, which is the, which is one of my favorite months of the year, because I I call it the gaming season, because so many games and even consoles may come out in November. It depends on if a new, but if before. Four point PlayStation Neo. I'm just gonna call it PS Neo. If that comes out around November, then a crap ton of games are coming out. I'm gonna come out for it. Uh, and every game 
should be run in 4K. I didn't actually add this to the list. Every game should be added in in 4K. So remasters, new games, even pre, or even PS4 games you have now. Like PS4, yeah. But alright, that's that one. Now this is for personal ones. Share factory improvements. Now I, I don't want to sound like a hypocrite or uh, yeah, because I'm using Share Factory right now to make this video. But I'm not gonna lie, the Share Factory is pretty disappointing in my opinion. It totally like all right. I don't obviously I'm a PlayStation fanboy, as you as you may call me, but I that doesn't mean I completely hate the Xbox as well. In fact, there's some things I think Xbox does better than PlayStation, okay? I, I'm i only going to name one, and that's the edit video editing software. Now, I think making videos on PlayStation is better. Making videos, but editing them, that's where Xbox wins. Uh, the Upload Studio, from, I've seen it on the Xbox. It is amazing. It is actually sick. I want... I want... I want... <laughs> The PS Neo to take a leaf, a leaf out of Xbox's book because I think for that I think you can actually use the Kinect to record record video while you are gaming, so you can literally do the proper style instead of just commentate commentating over videos like I do now. I I ain't gonna lie, I've grown to like doing to like doing this because i get to talk what with gameplay over but i prefer doing it live and i don't want really to just do live streams for that literally all i've been recently well actually no it's a couple of months ago well, my channel was literally just me live streaming that's why i took a break for a bit in fact while i was doing the walking dead <laughs> i was consistent but i did more live streaming and with any new games like uh, Walking Dead Season 3 or Batman the Telltale series which just came out. I've seen a bit of it, it looks great. But with those games, I, I, want, I want to be able to transition between live streaming and making live videos. And I want the Share Factory to, since it's on PS Neo and it's going to be run in 4K. Uh, next one relates to this, but I, I also want to mention... I think the new share factory should be able to be run to run vi render videos over thirty minutes, o over half an hour basically. It can't. When I first made the video at half an hour, it was knock and night video, so yeah, it didn't go well. And I had to delete one of the clips, didn't it? Yeah, I had to delete a whole clip just so just so that actually you no, know, I had to delete like one minute of it, a whole minute. Actually, no. I don't think I can't remember how much, but it wouldn't run. It wouldn't render anything over half an hour, and I don't think that's fair. It's not. It's honestly just not fair at all. If the new updates which I haven't used have actually fixed that, then I guarantee I might even I will try it. If I have fixed it, I will. Use, I will stop complaining about Shepherdy now. But I even made a whole run about this. In fact, Share Factory. I love I love this editing software, but it's very disappointing at the same time. And like I said, I don't want to sound like a, I don't want to sound like a hypocrite saying that it's a bad day when I'm using it right now. But come on, come on. But all right, it's gonna lead into the next one, which is again about video relate about video. And I think this should be good, and I think it will be a massive. Improvement in qu in quality. People say my uh, people say my quality is already really good. And thank you very much to everyone who says that. But imagine making videos in 4K. Wow. Okay, that would be that would be sick. That would gain subs. I guarantee that would gain subscribers if you actually. I no, I don't. I actually. For me, quality. Is, for me, it's the quality of the video. For me, is about how well you put it together, how well you make it. But if the if the quality already is good, then some people might not even edit the videos, might use the share factory. But yeah, I I, I last the last two out of the four 
I really want to see done because it's come on, right? If anything, the share factory they could perhaps. All right. Don't rage at me for what I'm about to say. I'm going to go back to the Share Factory one. But yeah, making videos in 4K would be sick. Alright, so back to the, uh, the uh, Share Factory one. Uh, I think it would be better to just make a new editing, new editing software in general. A new, a new app. Like, I don't know. But if they could do with the Xbox... Upload Studio does, then I think you've pretty much for me. You may that was one of the reasons why that you've easily fixed one of my biggest issues because this is an issue for me and it's an issue for my YouTube channel. And I think the last two is important. I, as I said, I ain't gonna get the PlayStation Neo right now. But next year, next year, uh, I could, I could, but I ain't, I ain't actually getting many expensive things this year because my real present, I don't, oh, I don't want to say the real present, that's kind of tight, but my you know, big present is actually for next year when I'm, when, uh, I don't even want to say it, I think I've already said it before, when I go to France. I ain't telling you where in case any creep wants to come along. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to France next year, and obviously you've got to save up for money for that. And you know, it's going to be a pain in the ass anyway, but uh, this is not about me going to France, this is about PS Neo. But all I'm saying is that Sony, if you can, if you can make, if you can make PS Neo, if you make all that thing, I think you you've easily you've easily got yourself a couple million couple millions of quid. Because I think a lot of people will be in, will be happy making will be happy making more videos, making more high quality and stuff like that. And yeah, I want to be able. I also yeah. But that's it for this, and I actually want to chat about what I'm doing later. I think I might do a two game live stream. I might do a double game live stream. I doubt anyone will pick, but I do. I am giving out the choice. I don't know, but I am giving out the choice with two games. I would do actually. I might do three, but I was thinking on live streaming three games today. I was thinking these three. Uh, GTA 5, Arkham Knight, and MK. Oh, I also forgot to mention, this game has sick graphics as well. This game, when I first got it, January of last year, I was amazed by the graphics. So, this plus 4K equals real. Basically real. But, yeah... That's gonna be it for this video. So I feel I'm quite a bit of a cold, but peace and I don't know. If, uh, go. Hello.